Hey folks, it's Paul Santos from New Bedford Guide. We're actually here in uh, downtown New Bedford right now live. And as you can see, they're bringing this gigantic Christmas tree into uh, City Hall Square right in front of the library. And it's really amazing because people are commenting as the tree was brought in. It actually came off the back of the truck for a moment as it was coming down Spring Street, but then all of a sudden it they managed to grab a hold of it and then put it right back onto the back of the truck. So uh, now they're getting ready to to put it right up here in front of the library in downtown New Bedford. So we're going to take a look and see how these uh, how these folks are actually doing this. Of course, later on they'll have a lighting of the Christmas tree a little bit later on. So we're going to walk around and get some uh, different views of this thing. I heard somebody say, wow, that thing's huge. So we'll walk around and get some other angles and, and watch how it is that they actually put this tree up here in front of the library. You don't realize we're live right now, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tell me about this. How how difficult is it to get this tree up? Uh, shouldn't be that bad, I guess. I mean, when they have to when they have to do it with a crane. Do you, do you uh, work on putting it up yourself? No, I just he he dreads he dreads a crane. The boss, the boss man. Oh, that guy right there? Yeah, he's the boss. He's the boss. He's gonna he's gonna use the crane. All right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can we, we're live on your Bedford Guide right now. You're the, he told this gentleman here told me you were the uh, you were the boss man. Is that right? That's what they say. Yeah. Tell me about putting this tree up. I see a lot of people are walking around and they're saying, "Oh my God, look at that thing! How are they going to get that thing up in front of uh, the library?" Yeah, it's a, it's an interesting process. Um, tree came from uh, across the bridge, so year in and year out, we keep it about the same. We like to use the same equipment. We have this low boy trailer that holds. Every single tree that I've ever done here, um, we use the crane, we get into position here between the two light poles, you know, we pick it up, we uh, line it up with the new stand that we have here, drop it in and run a cable across and that's pretty much it. And then, what is your name? My name is uh, Justin Olson, I'm the uh, city arborist. All right, fantastic. You know, I, I saw, uh, you know, on 6th Street, looks like it came off the truck for a second, but you guys put it right back on before I had a chance to get a shot of it. Yeah, so what we do is actually, it does look like it moved, but we strap it down nice and tight, and then we just hold the branches back. And we're making corners that are a little too tight with cars, so we just don't want to scratch anything. That's all that was. So. All right, um, you've done this before, I imagine? Yeah, yeah quite a few times. I think this is uh, my fifth one, actually, so, and uh, this year it's, pretty, it's going pretty good, so. How long does it take to get up? Well, um, interesting question. Um, usually, it takes about a couple hours. Um, we like to make sure that the trunk fits in the stand nice and tight because that's that's the main you know the main important part there. Um, so yeah, it'll take you know a couple hours. Sometimes we've had situations where it's half a day. You know, we really want to make sure we do a good job. So, all right, thanks very much. Have a great day. Happy holiday. Thank you too. Thank you. All right.
All right, as you can see, the tree has arrived, but they are not going to lift it up for probably about 20 minutes to half an hour, so we'll pick it up then. Right here on your Bedfree Guide. Stand by.